We're here at the British Wildlife uh, Centre where they have five otters, three males, two females. They're going to even up the numbers next week with another female. And it used to be that if you wanted to see otters, you had to come to a place like this because they were uh, so scarce. Um, uh, but in the last 30 years, they've made a remarkable comeback. Uh, they were so scarce, they were feared to be on the brink of extinction. But now, last year, the Environment Agency said they were found in every county in the country except Kent. Now they've seen them in Kent too, uh, just to complete the recovery. With me is Matt Binstead, who looks after the otters here. Matt, why have they made such an amazing comeback? Well, I think it's just that the waterways have actually naturally been getting cleaner now. The pesticides that were used back in the 60s and 70s, which were polluting the riverways, aren't being used anymore. There's a ban on those. On top of this, many local volunteer groups have been going out to try and actively restore the habitats as well. All of this is actively encouraging back the prey species, such as the fish and the eels, in turn actively encouraging back the predators, such as the otters as well. And is there uh, any reason why they shouldn't continue to flourish? No, I don't think so. If it continues like this, then I think it's good news for the otters. They'll continue not only to be in every county, but say another 10 years or so, possibly be on every freshwater system in the country as well. Well, there you have it. Good news for otters. Um, pop out this weekend to your local river and see if you can see one. If not, come here to the British Wildlife Centre.